Time now for an in-depth look at the market news this afternoon. And for that, I'm joined on the line by Mr. Daniel Yu, Global Strategist at Uanta Securities. Mr. Yu, thank you as always for making time today. Good afternoon. So fears of a coronavirus pandemic caused Wall Street to fall overnight by the most in two years, a thousand points off the Dow, closing three and a half percent down. European stocks even worse off. What's the story in the global markets? As, as you said, the Wall Street sold off on Monday, um, 24th of February, to book the worst single day trading losses since the October 2018, uh, as the number of the coronavirus cases and deaths outside of China surged. Uh, over the weekend, uh, we already talked about this, the South Korea and uh, Italy reported a spike in the number of confirmed cases in the recent days, raising the concern of the global slowdown. Uh, on the corporate side, uh, various um, the airline companies and the casino operators, anything related to retails, uh, shown a massive decline in the shell prices in the U.S. Uh, also followed through, uh, the Japan have shown a sharp decline as of uh, morning today. Uh, it fell as, low, uh, as about 3% in one day and Tuesday. Uh, also, uh, including Korea, um, the other country like Italy have shown the biggest rise of the additional cases that has resulted into the biggest drop of 5.4% drop for the FTSE MIB index for Italy. Uh, all in all, the global market yesterday have shown a massive decline. A uh, one-day decline of the MSCI World Index was as much as 3.5%. From the peak of the a few uh, weeks ago, uh, it has declined by about 5% from its peak. Right. Well, uh, Korean stocks, though, on the other hand, they're up today. Investors may be thinking that uh, yesterday's sell-off was, or the recent sell-off was a bit much, or what's happening there? Sure. Um, if you look at the yesterday's price movement, uh, Kospi have fallen much faster than most of other markets. Uh, it has fallen by 3.87% yesterday, and Kostak was down by more than 4.3%. Uh, as I said, the MSCI index from the peak to bottom, uh, it declined by about uh, 5% or so. But Kospi, when it down, went down yesterday, uh, it went from uh, 12,200 plus to uh, 12,100 or below. Today, it went down to as low as 1,270 or so. So uh, obviously, the decline was much faster, and that's why uh, there had been a rebound today. Today, Kospi closed about 1.2% up, and also the Kostak is up about 2.76% after falling so much yesterday. Uh, all this is because of the president uh, have said that the government should uh, do all the possible measures to boost the economy, uh, including the supplementary budget of spending about 20 trillion won worth of uh, uh, budget. And also, uh, there's a chance of a Bank of Korea rate cut uh, on Thursday. We're not sure whether that will actually occur, but nevertheless, uh, I think that just like what China did, uh, Korean government needs to do all measures to boost the economy uh, to cope with this current event. Uh, a lot of people are uh, doubting and worrying that the Korea's the coronavirus incident is probably following the mimicking the Chinese uh, rise uh, that we saw in the Wuhan area. So uh, I think that a lot of people are concerned about that and therefore uh, the level of the boosting measures and level of the government commitment is much needed, and that's probably what's happening at this point in time. It does seem like uh, we are seeing that uh, a huge commitment from the government, uh, which is reassuring to some. But now uh, we saw oil prices fall by the most in several weeks, some down more than 4% uh, at the low on Monday. Gold, on the other hand, around a seven-year high. What's your outlook for these commodities? Sure. Uh, just looking at that number on that one day, yes, it is very horrible. Uh, I mean, it's clearly the everybody's moving into the uh, safety assets, uh, so-called gold or uh, bonds, the government bonds of U.S. Um, but um, as of today, it seems that people are start to feel a bit more uh, stable in terms of the investing into so heavily into the uh, safety assets. If you look at the oil price, as you said, it fell as much as 4% uh, in the previous session, but today it is up by about 1%. So, uh, yes, we are worried about the economic recession, 
But we think that the uh, level of the reduction in production as well as supply and demand area, we think that oil should stabilize at well above $50. So uh, any prices nearing $50 uh, will have a trigger of going uptrend. Uh, any prices above 55 will have probably downward pressure. So we are uh, thinking a very sh uh, small band of box trading for the oil prices anywhere between 50 to 55 dollars. As for the gold, also as you said, uh, it has sharply risen. Uh, if you look at just a few weeks, uh, gold price has gone up by more than 7 percent. Uh, that is a quite significant move. Uh, but uh, recent uh, trading, uh, gold price seems to be stabilizing. Uh, it has fallen by about 2.8% from its peak. Uh, so clearly we are seeing some stabilizations. Uh, we think that the government boosting measures and the international cooperation in terms of tackling this issue of coronavirus uh, incident, uh, we think that the economy should recover after the summer seasons uh, or near the summer seasons. Uh, if that's the case, uh, such uncertainty should be uh, minimized. But for the time being, still, everybody's still a bit uncomfortable. Uh, that's why we see quite heavy volatility in various assets at this point in time. All right, Mr. Yu, we'll have to leave it there for today. Thanks for sharing your insights, as always. Thank you very much.